So in reality, how? How does that happen that I found this piece? That's just absolutely insane. Let's just go ahead and toss on the kaijus. I know that we actually have no, um, we have no uh, wheel interference issues with this. So we're gonna toss these on and hopefully I've got the right size wheel nut. So fortunately for me, I was able to steal one of the um, nuts off of my E-Revo because it's the same um, actual size nut. So E-Revo saved the day because otherwise, otherwise this would not be happening. So, but finding that though, it's just insane. Now see these wheels and tires are definitely more more the size that you kind of want to have on this truck. Uh, the other ones are just, it, it gives it a more, I guess it gives it a fun factor. The other thing too that I seem to notice on 4S, because we are feeding more power, when I did reach in to um, shut this thing off, I did notice a little bit more warmth. There's a little bit more warmth in there that I think, I don't think I'm comfortable with that um, kind of warmth that I was feeling in there. So that's the other downer is that, you know, obviously not, if you were going to switch to a size tire and wheel that's like this, the other thing that you're definitely going to want to do is you're going to want to change gearing. I mean, we just did it for a speed run just to see what we could get. And we got 48. Um, we got another one at 47. Like I said, I'm going to say 48 because I was really starting to lose control um, of the vehicle. And it's, it's, not, it's not designed for that. So on these, it should actually rip it really nice on these kaiju wheels. Um, I definitely recommend these uh, tires and wheels. Yeah, no, they're not belted, but um, for the price, 25 bucks for a um, set of two. You cannot go, I mean, I, I'm not saying anything bad about these tires and wheels. These will be wheels and tires that I will run on whatever it will accept. Matter of fact, you know what? I wonder if these things would fit on the Mojave. They would probably they would probably annihilate the body, but that might actually be that might actually be a thought. Might actually have to run these things on the Mojave. All right, so everything's back on. Maybe I should check the pack. Nah, you know what? We're just gonna rip it. All right, back again. Much better. Um, Again, with these tires and wheels, I like this combination anyway. And it really rips it nice. Definitely makes more use of that power. But you can hear it. You can hear how much grip this thing comes by. Just the amount of grip that these tires and wheels have. So if you're looking for a cheap or inexpensive alternative, I'll say inexpensive alternative. I don't want to say necessarily cheap. These are Red Cat Kaiju tires and wheels. Definitely the way to go. Oh, man. That was a hard hit.
toe, that was my foot. Oh, that was my leg. Oh, it happened. Got disconnected. What? Now that's unusual. All right, so that's going to be an issue. So, what we may have to do, wiring wise, wires actually feel fine. So, that may be something that we'll have to tame down with the connector um we'll do something with that connector it's actually running so it's actually running the ec5 connector which is probably part of the problem um it is a slightly looser connection than an xt but uh it does work anyways and i do have actually ec to xt so maybe we'll swap that out i don't know but um feels fine back to normal Just nail the mound of dirt. <laughs> connector came undone again all right so we might have a little bit too much connector flop all right let's see i know it came undone again yeah so we've got a little bit too much connector flop may just have to see uh if i can tame this down somehow maybe by connecting up the strap to something or i'm not quite sure but we'll figure it out um it is, again, it's, it's just a loose connection, which is no big deal. Uh, if I did put the proper connector on, probably be all set. But it is what it is. Um, the whole point was changing this out because, yeah, well, I did still end up with the issue of the uh, TRX 
uh, connector always disconnected and now we're getting this disconnecting but that's because we're using a different connector um, again I could tame that down potentially by if I undid this strap here undid the strap maybe ran the strap through the power side maybe would that be smart yeah, you know what? I'm going to try that, see what happens. Let me just put you down for a sec, I think. GoPro on. <laughs> We're buried this time. It's not getting out of there. We have an issue. All right, we got breakage. So there we go. Broke the Traxxas Max. I'm not sure if we popped something out. Something broke. Not exactly sure. But we will take this thing in and we will see what the issue is. Now, because of the 20 weight, I forget how many mil. Oh, yeah. All right. So you can actually see it right there. So we actually broke that piece right there. And it is because high bite uh, tires and wheels. Oh, that's funny. 
it's it's point blank because it's a high bite more higher bite situation and we are beating the absolute crap out of it so it is definitely a fun vehicle on 4s 3s it's also a fun vehicle where maybe you're not putting so much torque and strain on the components again this is just um this is just based upon you know my discoveries for myself what i know with my own vehicle or should i say with my wife's vehicle uh, Traxxas Max, it is a good vehicle, but when you want to push the threshold and change things up, yeah, parts are going to break, things are going to change, and it is what it is. So, if you like watching these episodes from RC Guy Garage, we're just out here bashing the Traxxas Max on 4S. We just swapped over from TRX connectors to XT90s, which we saw just a minor little issue, and that's only because I'm um, using a uh, straight EC5 to XT90, which does work. You just have to know that it is a connection that's slightly, it doesn't have as good a hold as if it was EC to EC and the same thing with uh, XT to XT. So, yeah, anyways, um, so now we're back to the drawing board. Now we've actually broken the max. We got a broken Kaiju. The next vehicle we got to fix will be the Arma Mojave because we actually have the parts for that as well as parts for... No, camo needs parts too. So anyways, like I said, just get out there and rip it because, yeah, just do it. <laughs> So if you're looking for a cheap or inexpensive alternative, I'll say inexpensive alternative. I don't want to say necessarily cheap, 